In this video, I'm going to work out two examples of simplifying a complex rational expression. And the way I'm going to choose to do it, the method I'm going to choose, is multiplying through by the least common denominator. If you have a complex fraction or a complex rational expression, all right, a fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator, the easiest way to simplify this type of expression is to multiply through by that least common denominator. So I'm going to look at all of my denominators, denominator of 1 and a denominator of x, a denominator of 1 and a denominator of x. So on this one, that makes my least common denominator an x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top by x. I'm going to multiply the bottom by x. Okay, now to do that on the top, I've got to distribute the x to both places in there. All right, an x times a 5 is just going to be a 5x. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put the minus sign down. Now, when I multiply the x times 2 over x, these two x's are going to cross out. I'm going to be left with that 2. All right, so you can see that as soon as I multiply through by that x, then this fraction disappears. All right, we're going to do the exact same thing on the bottom. I'm going to take this x and I'm going to distribute it to both locations. So 3 times that x is going to give me a 3x. And then x times 1 over x, this x and this x is going to cross out, leaving me with just 1, so plus 1. All right, this cannot be factored any farther because I can't factor anything out of the top. I can't factor anything out of the bottom, so nothing else can cross out on that one. On this example over here, I'm going to look at all my denominators and all my um, in every location here. So I've got an x and an x and an x and a y right there. So my least common denominator is going to be x times y. So least common denominator, x times y. I'm going to multiply this top by x times y. I'm going to multiply the bottom by x times y. Again, I need to distribute to each of those locations. When I do that, this x, y times the y here, those y's are going to cross out, and I'm going to be left with an x squared. So I'm going to have an x squared right there. I'm going to go ahead and put the plus sign down. When I multiply x times y times this 1 over x, the x's are going to cross out, so I'll have 1 times y, and that's going to leave me with a y. Distributing on the bottom, x times y times the first fraction, x times y times the second fraction. All right, these x's are going to cross out, leaving me with two y's right there, so I'll have a y squared. Going ahead and putting that plus sign down then, distributing the x times y to the 1 over x, the x's are going to cross out, it's going to leave me with a y right there. All right, now looking at this expression, technically I could factor out a y on the bottom, but I can't factor anything out on the top, so there would be no reason to do that unless you want that expression in you know, completely factored form. So this would be a perfectly acceptable answer, or I could do the x squared plus y, and then factoring out a y there would be a y plus 1. All right, technically either one of those answers would be correct for that. All right, so just a, a couple quick examples there on how to multiply through by that least common denominator in order to simplify a complex rational expression. Thanks for watching, and if the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks.